in some sense, if you expand to be everything, then you don't coherently exist anymore mm. in the following sense that that our sort of coherent existence relies on the fact that we are a specific thread of experience. Mm. As soon as we say, well, we're kind of expanding to everything, then there's no sense of, there's no us there, so to speak. Identity, there's no, your identity just dissolves into, right. into it. Yeah, right. Yeah. And th so, this reminds me of something, Stephen, I just wondered if you could comment on this. So I, I, it may have even been you that spoke about this on, on one of your many talks, but um, I've heard about these rats that can do mazes. Right. And they're able and they, they're able to show that the rats can do arithmetic. Right. Because they're able to understand to get out of the maze. They have to do every even door or every third door. For you. So they've, they've demonstrated the rats understand arithmetic. But then when they do prime number um, solutions to the maze, they can't get it. So it shows that it's possible to have a grip on mathematics that is constrained. And it just reminds me of what you're saying, that the idea of there being different kind of perspectives on the Rouliad would yeah. give us different physics. Is that, is that, is there some... Well, some colour me suspicious about these animal experiments. They're always very odd. And it's it's kind of like, you know, occasionally I've I've done things like, you know, watch the videos of, of actual experiments that purport to show that, you know, polar bears are not as smart as as rats or something. Right. And, and you know, it's it's very muddy. I mean, okay. it's, it, it's very muddy for an interesting reason, which is minds that are human-like, we understand, mm -hmm. you know, we, and we even believe they exist. For example, you know, I mean, all I know about you is a bunch of pixels I see on a screen. Mm 